In the amount of damage the European Union has inflicted upon itself uh, to punish Russia or to seek to punish Russia has been enormous, uh, um, not just in Ireland but elsewhere across the European Union. Now, it may well be that that's all worthwhile, and the position of the European Union is that we absolutely need to do this to highlight uh, how important uh, international law is and how seriously we take international law. And you look at what they have to say about the Middle East. Very little mention of international law, no condemnation of the killing of civilians, the targeting of civilian infrastructure, whatsoever. I mean, that sort of duplicity simply undermines the European Union's response, not just to the Ukrainian war, but its international position on every conflict across the world. And it is losing credibility. I mean, von der Leyen, remember we were clapping like seals in here when she came. The woman's a warmonger. She was a warmonger then, she's a warmonger now. She's interested in selling arms. We're reaching a nadir of respect for international law under uh, this um, European commissioner. People can spot hypocrisy when they see it. I mean, we, we have people in this house, on the one hand, calling for Ukrainians to go home. And on the other hand, saying that, well, they should all, Ukraine should join the European Union. Now, which is it? Because if they join the European Union, they're going nowhere, clearly. The conclusions of the commission led by the warmonger that Ukraine accession negotiations should enter for Ukraine. I mean, we're talking about one of the most corrupt countries on the face of the planet. Are we seriously to believe that that which was a, a corrupt country in 2019 has suddenly cleansed itself of all corruption in the, while, while fighting a, a war on its eastern flank? And, and what state of Ukraine are we going to enter into accessions negotiations with? Because my understanding is to join either NATO, and this is all about Ukraine's Thank desire to join NATO, of course, but to either join NATO or the European Union, you need agreed borders. So are we going Thank to have a country without agreed borders join the European Union, where we will guarantee those Deputy borders with our time. soldiers and their lives?